For months now, the potential sale of JEA has been a source of controversy. Sealed bids, private negotiations, and city leaders who say exploring privatization is the best way to ensure that the utility stays afloat. Welcome to First Coast News at 11. I'm Jeff Vallon. Tonight, a city councilman says it's all gone on long enough. Shelby Danielson is on your side. And Shelby, you spoke with that councilman tonight. All right, Jeff Councilman Matt Carlucci says his call for CEO Aaron Zahn to resign isn't about politics, but rather his love for Jacksonville and ensuring that the city doesn't lose its greatest asset once and for all. You know what, at this point, I'm almost like I'm trying to protect my hometown. That's what I'm trying to do. That's how strongly I feel about this. Jacksonville City Councilman Matt Carlucci isn't backing down. Well, nothing but the best for Jacksonville. He insists it's time for JEA CEO Aaron Zahn to step down. The transparency wasn't there. Uh, mixed messages didn't have full control of the steering wheel. In an email distributed Friday night, Carlucci wrote in part, quote, I've seen more than enough to know this is an issue that lost credibility with the citizens of Jacksonville. It is beyond repair. It's time to pull the plug, find new leadership, and move ahead. I have just not felt there was a commitment towards anything except privatization. That'll put a lot of people out of jobs. They say, oh, there's job guarantees. Yeah, three-year job guarantee. If, you, if you're 40 years old, that means when you're 43, you're looking for another job. He says this isn't a political move, it's out of concern. He also points to JEA spreading their message through mailers like this one, where they back up their reasons for exploring privatization. Finally, I just said, enough's enough. This is it. This is my hometown and I'm going to protect it as long as I'm on that city council. In response to Carlucci, JEA board chairman April Green sent us a statement that says in part, quote, Today I was surprised to hear about Councilman Carlucci's demand for Mr. Zahn's resignation. As appointed and elected officials, we have the duty and responsibility to work collaboratively on the most pressing and complicated issues facing our city. We simply cannot do things the way we have always done them. We have to address the future with open eyes, ears, and hearts. And tonight I reached out to every city council member. So far we've heard back just from two, including Councilman Michael Boylan. Now he says, quote, I believe that the call for the resignation of Mr. Zahn by Carlucci, while politically and socially expedient, is both premature and a distraction for what is really important in all of this. Understanding what is the appropriate path for JEA in securing its future success, which is what we are trying to do and the fact-finding workshops the council is conducting. We also heard from Councilman Garrett Dennis. He is in support of the resignation of Zahn. Now, Carlucci says the final straw that caused him to call for this resignation was a bonus program that would bring more money in for executives. It was finally or ultimately squashed by the city auditor, though. So you can read about that and the full statement from JEA on our website. It's also important to note that Mr. Zahn was not available for an interview today. Jeff. Thank you, Shelby. So many different and interesting developments there. Now, if JEA does select a company to sell to, any deal would still have to be approved by city council and then put on the ballot for the public to vote. Councilman Carlucci says he might host an open meeting this week to gauge opinions from his colleagues. 